Hey, what's good, YouTube? I'm Dewan, and we're back with part six of our RIP series. And in this video, we'll be going over DACP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. So a couple things to note about DACP. It uses port 67, which is the server UDP port that it used to talk to the server, and then port 68 that it uses to talk to the client. Now, those are some of the ports that you'll have to have open in your firewall if you um, have ACLs or you're configuring um, DHCP on your network. DHCP uses the process of door. The PC will send out a discovery um, broadcast throughout the network, so the switch will flood it to all the ports and it gets to the DHCP server. The DHCP server will respond with the offer, which is unicast, that'll go to the PC. The PC is sent out a request which is going to be another broadcast saying, hey, I accept um, your offer and let all the other DHCP servers know that it's talking to the one DHCP server. And then finally, the DHCP sends out um, an acknowledge, and that acknowledge says, hey, here's all the information. Here's your IP address. Here's your subnet. Here's your DNS, your lease time, and all that good stuff. And again, that process is called DOOR. Now that you got that, here on site A, we're going to configure DHCP on our router to send out to our end devices, which is going to be our PCs here. Pretty simple. Nothing too complicated about it. If you guys got questions, hit me up in the comment section below. The first thing I'm going to do is pull up my router, which is going to be R1. Here are my networks that I actually have to assign DHCP for. So whenever you're setting up DHCP, the first thing that you want to configure is your excluded addresses because as soon as you configure your DHCP pool, it'll start handing out IP addresses and it may be like a printer or some IP addresses that you do not want to assign. So you need to exclude those first. So let's go IP DHCP excluded addresses. And the first thing we're going to do is exclude the 192.168.10. So we're going to do dot one through, let's say, 10. And this is saying, hey, I don't want you to assign these addresses. And we're going to do the same thing for the dot 20 network. So I'll just do the up and replace the numbers in here. And this is excluding all um, the addresses from 192.168.10.1 through 192.168.10.10 and the same thing for dot 20 and dot 30. Boom, those are excluded. We're good to go. Now the next thing we need to do is set up our pools. So our first pool is going to be called, I'm just going to name it the VLAN. So IP DHCP um, pool. And we're going to call this VLAN team. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is set up our um, network addresses. In, in this pool, so we'll go to network 192.168.10.0, and then the subnet is going to be a slash 24. Boom, good to go. Now we need to do our default router, which is going to be 192.168.10.1. Good to go. And let's see what else we need to do. If we had a DNS, we would configure that, but we don't. Um, our d domain name, we could configure that, but we don't have to, so we can do the lease. So let's do the lease for zero days, um, 12 hours. Well, let's do the question mark so you guys can see. So if you do lease, um, this won't let you do the lease. Nope. And actually, Packet Tracer won't allow you to set up leases anyway. So we'll just have to leave it at this. And now we have our pool set up. So let's go exit and let's do a show IP DHCP pool. And you can actually see your pool. Okay, now that we did a, um, a show IP DHCP pool, this will show you your actually your actual pool, but it won't show you your excluded addresses. So in order to see your excluded addresses, you'll have to go show run. And then you can see your excluded address, but this will show you your pool, IP DHCP pool. Boom. And you can actually see your pool. So as you can see, I have one through... 254 is actually my range for this um, VLAN 10 pool, which is here. Now we'll set up the rest of our pools and we'll get going. Hey. Hustle hard.
Cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart. Then our default router, which is our default gateway, just in case you guys are confused and good to go. Now we can go and see our pools. Show IP DH. CP pool and now you can see all three pools are created now the, what we need to do is go to our PCs and see if they pull the IP address so I go over here to this PC and I turn it from static because I automatically or I already have an IP address assigned and we'll go DHCP and we'll go here and as you can see, it's already it has already pulled an IP address. The IP address that it pulled is going to be 192.168.10.12, which is outside of the excluded range because remember one through ten is excluded. So it grabbed um, dot twelve, and I can go in here and ping my default gateway 192.168.10.1. and that's good to go. Now I'm gonna break that and then we can do a IP config and you can see everything is set up and now let's go to the rest of them and turn those on also boom and I grab dot 11 for um, VLAN 20 let's see what this one grabs for VLAN 10 desktop IP configurations on static and it grabs 13 and this one grabbed dot 11 for VLAN 30 and now what we can do is you can go in back into R1 which is your router and you can do a show IP DHCP and bindings and this will actually show you what IP address corresponds to the MAC address on a device now this says a client ID um, combined with your MAC address, but the way it looks, that actually looks like a MAC address, the way it's set up. So we were to pull up um, PC1 along with R1. You can see the MAC address actually matches and the IP address matches. So that's how you would verify um, what device has what IP address on your network if you're trying to find out in your DHCP um, database. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys got questions, hit me up in the comment section below. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to R2. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace. Cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart. Cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss your heart, cuss cuss your heart, cuss your heart.